Hey Capricorn, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, formerly Moon Pie Tarot, doing your love reading for February 2018, Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So this is a general reading, so just remember some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. Um, if they don't, you know, after you've listened to the entire reading, um, then, you know, it just wasn't for you, but I'm going to give four different blocks of messages. So listen, if you don't mind, um, through the entire reading, because you may pick up something here. Okay. So I'm going to start with the Rider Waite Tarot deck. I'll clarify with the uh, Mini Rider Waite deck. And then I have the Romance Angels Oracle deck that I'll pull some cards from. And I also have a new deck called The Untamed Truth from Rachel Karangela. Okay, these cards are very beautiful, the illustrations. Um, they are very similar to the Major Arcana, Major and Minor Arcana, but uh, it kind of in a weird way, but I'll show you when I pull. Okay, one second here. Sorry for the blur. It'll clear up in a minute. Okay, let's start Capricorn to see what your first set of messages are here. Okay, we have the Six of Wands and the Three of Wands. Okay, waiting for some kind of a victory. Waiting for something to pan out. Something to, you're waiting to hear something back. Uh, either about a celebration uh, uh, in regard to possibly like an award or reward of some sort, some energy or effort that you put into something or into a relationship of some sort, like you're waiting for that return, okay? And for some reason, I feel like it's going to when it comes, I feel it's communication for sure. So I feel like when it comes, it's going to be very rewarding for you. It's, 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 it's almost as if some of you, I know you're, you're listening to this and you're saying, am I going to get A, B, or C? And I feel like it's a yes, whatever it may be. So let's clarify the Six of Wands. Mm. Some type of... Um, an apology or a reconciliation with someone from your past, someone coming back, offering something to you. Yep, another reconciliation card, judgment. Some truth coming out, something you've been waiting to hear from another person. This could be, um, some of you are receiving flowers. If you're, you know, well, female, if you're male, whichever, um, perhaps around Valentine's Day. Um, there's kindness and sincerity. And I was saying in the one of the last readings how those flowers reminded me of narcissists. Some of them be apologizing to you for being such an egotistical brat. <laughs> um, in the past, perhaps. But there's truth coming out. And there's healing. Someone is being called. Some of you have called someone out on some something that they did at some point prior to this reading. Or prior to you listening. And they owe and, and it's not like they owe you an apology, but I feel like they're gonna come with one. And, and say, you know, yeah, I was pretty much on my high horse for a while there. I didn't realize what I had. You know, I took advantage. And all I was interested in was, you know, all the accolades and the attention and being in the spotlight. Some of the, this may have happened around Christmas time. Okay, and I feel like sometime perhaps in February there will be some kind of like reconciliation and an apology for the way they this person was behaving and, and you're kind of waiting for it 
like you're, you're almost waiting for karma and i feel like if if you are it's going to you know it's going to bite them in the butt and they're going to actually come back and be like oh my god i'm sorry i was stupid blah 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 you know so let's let's move on to the next set of messages Hmm, more messages. Cupid's arrows. Love, love, love. Travel. Someone's reaching out. King of Cups. Some of you are dealing with Libra or um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is in turmoil. <laughs> Emotional turmoil, but they don't show it. They wear their poker face. They just kind of like you know they have no they don't show their emotions but they're in like some kind of emotional chaos or turmoil at this time and I feel like you're gonna be either and it doesn't have to be like turmoil like it's not horrible it's just that their their emotions are deep they're feeling things deeply and they're like a they're like a volcano that's churning inside churning of emotion but it's not on the outside. It just looks solid and everything's fine. It looks stable and fine. But they, this person is just very internally emotional. And um, it could be connected to this. But I feel like there's there could be some messages of travel or connecting with someone or connecting with this person. Now, it doesn't have to be the water or Libra. It could just be the description that I gave you of your person or someone new coming in could be um, offers uh, lots of messages lots of communication happening here with this person you could be reaching out to them as well and, and for some of you you could be sending messages to this person and they're just kind of like not paying attention this person may be distracted with other things going on maybe you send um, a, some Valentine's messages or um, try to talk to them and you, you're sending the messages but they're not really paying attention as well okay so that's two separate messages there so let's clarify both of these cards okay there was some type of separation or at least for, uh, for the second message there there um, you may be reaching out to them because they've been in kind of like disappearing mode or they've been separated from you in some capacity temporarily this person whoever you're dealing with is distracted with other things going on in their life and you may be trying to reach them it can also be them reaching out to you because you have been separated from them okay nine of pentacles this person's just very focused on their their coin right now they're working they're focusing on their money so if you have someone in your periphery that you're trying to connect with and they're not really responding or really giving you much time and attention it's really just because they're focused and um their independence and Um, their single life you may not be in a committed you may just be dating or you may be reaching out to someone that you like who is just very busy or they're dating and they're just not really paying attention to anything serious okay so the other message too is the opposite where they're reaching out to you or they're sending messages to you because they miss you but they're still focusing on their work and, and their life and what they're doing currently okay all right let me pull another set of messages here for you Capricorn ace of wands all right this is my sex card there's an opportunity here for some of you okay um 
to have some type of a passionate affair with someone or a passion connection with someone. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> and I just kind of feel like you... So this could be connected here where you are getting messages. Somebody wants to come see you. They definitely want to have a... They, miss, they want to have like a passionate physical connection with you. And... Um, you might be distracted focusing on your work um i i don't feel like it's like I, i'm not saying anything super negative here i just feel like everybody's busy right now <laughs> everybody's focusing on their you know their work but you may also be in a place of contemplating or this you know you or they contemplating about uh starting up um a physical connection with each other could be a workplace connection as well. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. The Queen of Cups. Okay, we're going back here with this water sign. You're, you're connected to a water sign. That's double water here. Okay, if that doesn't resonate for some of you, don't worry about it. But for those of you, you know... <laughs> I feel like this person views you as being very, um, just very emotional right now. They, they have like an emotion, they feel an emotional connection to you. Some of you, you know, this, there's somebody here that wants to have a physical connection, but you're more focused on the emotional connection. And so you're contemplating whether or not, um, you want to connect with them in that way in a physical way mm, stressing about it too somebody's stressing here and so for some who's ever involved with the water sign this water sign is really missing you again like I was saying they're um, you know all that water behind them they're just like emotional turmoil but they're not showing it they're reaching out uh, to connect with you but they're not showing their hand their hand is that they're they're overworking they're thinking too much they're stressing too much they want that some i feel for capricorn you are going to receive some love messages or somebody's going to try to connect with you around um you know the week of valentine valentine's week to to make plans to get together maybe for a night of passion something like that all right, let me just pull some more messages here. Ace of Pentacles. So we have two aces here. Oh, and the Five of Wands. I'm going to clarify those. There's definitely an offer coming in here. For you guys somebody's competing for your attention and they know that the only way that they're going to get what they want from you is if they only offer something solid i don't know what happened in the past if if you're connected to someone for those of you that have a person um you may have given someone an ultimatum it could have been this water sign or whomever given them an ultimatum and said you know i have a lot of options out there and it's it's great connecting with you but if you if you wish to reconnect with me again you're gonna have to give me something solid prove something show me something that you really want to be with me because as fun as your little wee wee may be at times <laughs> it is not enough So uh, this person, I feel like, is going to see that, you know, oh, Capricorn's got not just one, not just two, not just three, but five other interests who are competing for their attention, and I better step up. All right, let me see. Let me clarify. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ten of Wands. You know, and now we have the um, King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Mm. 
this is really hard for this person. <laughs> they're really, that's a struggle for them. <laughs> they, they're like, they, all right, they really want to have this, <clears throat> excuse me, physical connection with you. And like, it's, it's overwhelming them. It's almost become a burden because, and it's a struggle for them because you're like, you know, nah, I need uh, some dollars. I need, uh, I need you to take me out somewhere really nice. I need you to like show up for God's sake. Will you just show up like for real show up here, like here, offer me something. What are you giving? Oh, that Janet Jackson song comes to my mind. What have you done for me lately? That kind of stuff, you know? So some of you could be dealing with um, an air sign. This air sign is not an emotional creature. I mean, it's something he's not emotional. Let me take that back. He or she is just business oriented. You know, they're mental. You know, they love, of course they love, but they're not like super affectionate or anything like that. Um, but they definitely like the sex. They're definitely very sexual. Um, but you're so practical. Like you need tangible things. You need something tangible. And this person could be um, also thinking that you are involved with an air sign and it will be competing for your attention or you have an air sign who's competing for your attention and they know you know they got to give you something to release the burden that you're carrying to be with them they got to give you they have to give you something and and that's i kind of feel like your energy is in this place here in this section you know with whoever you're connecting with Okay, even if this is someone new coming in, you're still in this place of, yeah, I'll go out on some dates with you, sure. Oh, you want to get in bed? Your thought process is, all right, well, you know, you took me to um, get a hamburger. That does not warrant a full night of passion in bed. Like, and I'm not saying you're being, you know, like a gold digger. I just feel like you're, you know, your worth. You know, you know your worth and you are in this place where, you know, you're trying to get your money, do your business. You're very practical. You're very logical in a sense. And some of you are on the cusp also of Capricorn Aquarius, where this King of Swords is showing up. This could be your energy as well, where, you know, you're just kind of like, you know, if you want to be with me, you're going to have to compete with all these others because I have options. And you know what, Capricorn, you might not even have anybody else in your periphery. You might just be telling them that, <laughs> you know, just kind of like, okay, well, just so you know, um, I'm dating like five other people or I'm, you know, I, or there's like these other people who are interested you might just be telling them that just to kind of like get them to step up you know do what you got to do so let me see i'm going to pull some cards here see what your messages are from the untamed truth wow your reading's just going so quick all my other readings are like 30 minutes it is what it is <clears throat> what are the messages here from the untamed truth for capricorn sun moon rising or venus Mm, messenger okay I was seeing this in one of the other readings as well watch out for a cardinal the bird there's something connected to this cardinal some type of message being delivered to you it's it's like a very spiritual message but there's also going to be um, you'll be receiving messages here and I saw that with the eight of wands you're getting a lot of messages in February these could be love messages as well what else do we, we need to know here faith oh <laughs> some of you are focusing on your faith right now as well I feel some of you have like you've been really working on strengthening your faith your religion let's see what this card says 
Number 45. Okay, if things seem hopeless, take heart. The seeds you planted will grow soon. The this is the message that's coming to you, the spiritual message that's coming to you. Okay, um, it's a f it's it's from someone that has passed, who was um, a very faithful person, or they were faith filled. The term faith is often understood as a belief in something not yet seen, but faith is not just a belief in the unknown. Faith is a knowing. Faith is an absolute understanding of the laws that govern our universe. You cannot plant a seed and expect it to bear fruit overnight, but you can expect the sun to shine, rain to fall, and other life-giving components to help nurture the seed to life. Faith teaches us that sometimes we have to believe in something before we see it. When we're caught up in too much action, we can easily lose sight of our original goal. Faith is a byproduct of the thoughts you keep thinking and how well they are aligned with your hopes. While hope and faith carry different meaning and emotion, hope is the bridge between doubt and faith. If you are experiencing doubts or stuck in a dark place right now, try to have some hope. Have faith in the inevitable growth, even if it's not yet seen on the surface. That's kind of like, you know, when we're in the midst of a snowy winter, you know, under that snow that sits on the ground is actually nourishing with moisture, the earth, and it's nourishing you. And when the snow has gone and the weather begins to warm, that's when we begin to see growth and it takes time. And, you know, so we sit here and we, we see the snow and we go outside and we're freezing cold. And yes, the snow can be beautiful. Um, but it's cold and you know it's like a it's a it's a downtime to bring about rebirth and change so you know this messenger cardinal here is to remind you uh, when you see that cardinal that spring is on the way there's new hope and new growth okay um, now of course if you're listening in the southern hemisphere that just means I don't know do you, if you even have cardinals down there, they might just be up north. Either way, it's still a messenger of anything, something red. Okay. And of course, this is just reminding me of Valentine's Day for some reason. Um, a message, a Valentine message that will bring hope and faith to you. So let me pull some cards, two cards from the Romance Angels deck. I think my um, microphone is a little staticky or it's a little too loud. I turned it down. So if it's distorted, I'm truly sorry about that. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay, there is someone. If you're questioning if this connection that you have with someone, there's some type of a... Um, did you ever hear the story of the red string? Um, that's what this is about. The red string that you guys are connected and you have been. This is a thread that just keeps going through lifetime after lifetime. This person that you're connected to, you have been connected to them before. And until the lessons are learned through the struggle, it will keep repeating. So forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Those two messages are for somebody, maybe a few of you. There's something, the, because these are both these are both past cards, past life relationship, heal and release the past. So somebody needs to hear this right now. There's some forgiveness and learning learning about this person that you are connected with, like really learning about how they work, how they operate. You know, I know um, some people, this is why I, I, I truly understand very much how the signs work, at least not so much 
the astrological sign, but the element and the modality. And I have on my um, on my Instinct Go account, like if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, I touch on the compatibility between the modalities, right? So um, this is my Instinct Go. So I touch on the modalities as far as here when I say which modality are you and another person cardinal fixed or mutable okay because the modalities truly have a huge effect on the relationship so like for instance you're you are Capricorn so you are a cardinal sign and so here you have well water so if you're dealing with a Pisces that's a mutable sign. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, that's a fixed sign. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, that's a cardinal sign. And so it's the compatibility between the modalities. I know I'm going off here. Of course, if you had to click, the reading was over a little while ago. But if, you, if you're staying, thank you for listening. But um, I try to touch on that on my... Um, on, so on that service that I offer on there. It's very, very interesting if you read up on the modalities of the different signs. So there's like four per, there's three modalities and there's four signs in each one. Okay, so anyway, this is just the basic uh, general reading for you guys. If you want to get a personal reading, again, the link is in the description box below. Um, but if you don't, that's fine. The readings are free. And if it resonates for you, fantastic. So I think that's going to be it. So I will wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. And I hope that your wishes and dreams come true in February. And I will see you guys in March. All right. Take care. Bye.